Right now, I'm going to show you how to cut out a person and get perfect edges inside of Photoshop. Hey, Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe. And this is my last video for 2019, but you guys aren't actually going to get to see it till 2020. So anyway, Happy New Year, everybody, and Happy New Decade. I hope you're setting some good goals for yourself. Um, Photoshop Cafe, of course, is a great place to come and learn Photoshop if that's your goal for the next year. So what we're going to do today is a little bit different when it comes to cutting out people. I've got other tutorials where the emphasis is on the hair and, you know, I've got lots of techniques for that. But what we're going to be doing here is really looking at the limbs. Sometimes it's really hard to get nice, smooth, clean edges on limbs when you're doing cutouts. Even in the situation here where I'm shooting her against a white background, but so often when you use the tools, you still get those raggy, jaggy edges. We're going to get around that right now. So we're going to use a technique that you're probably not expecting. So why don't we jump in? And the first thing we want to do is just load the selection. And so we're just going to get Photoshop to do the hard work right now. I've got the quick selection tool here. But anyway, what I'm going to do is just choose one of these. It doesn't matter which one. And what I'm going to do is just choose select subject. And I'm going to let Photoshop do, you know, the first bit for me. Okay, great. So here we go. We've got a rough selection. So what I want to do is I want to contract the selection. I'm going to choose select, con modify, contract by, I'm going to contract it by about 10. Click OK. So what I want to do is I just want to expose the edges around there. And I notice I've got a little bit there that got missed and that often happens. So let's just zoom in a little bit here. And what I'm going to do is hit the Alt or the Option key, and I'm just going to take this away from the selection. There we go. So that's looking pretty good as a starting place. And let's do the same thing up here for the hair. I want to make sure that I get all of that. And let's go in there. Usually the automatic selection will miss little, the little tight spots usually. All right, that's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to save this selection for now. So I'm just going to choose Select save selection and in a second you'll see why and i'll just call it inside because that's the inside selection Control d and we're going to turn it off okay what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go in and we're going to use channels but there's another trick that we're going to do with this so we're looking for the channel with the most contrast generally speaking if it's a light background usually blue is going to work if you're working against a dark background then you're probably going to choose red and then the skin's going to be lighter than the background and in this case we want a lighter um, background than the skin. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this blue channel and we're going to work on it. Great. Now I'm going to take the selection from the inside selection. So I'm going to hit the control or command key and click. Notice it loads in that selection. Now in our blue copy, I'm just going to fill this with black. Hit the D key to reset the foreground background colors. And then you're going to hit command delete. That would be control backspace on Windows and then just Control D to turn it off. And what we've done here is we've just filled that in with black. Now the reason we've done this is, see the edges here? We want to get these edges nice and clean. And if we look at the edge, see how rough and jaggy that selection kind of was? And that's what we're trying to avoid here. So the trick is to use Dodge and Burn. So what we're going to do is we're going to go under our Dodge and Burn tools. We're going to start with our Dodge tool which is going to lighten everything up. We want to work on the highlights. So change the range to highlights. Let me just zoom this out a little bit. And I'm just going to hit the right bracket key, or you can hold down, of course, Control Option on Mac and just increase the brush size this way. This will be the softness. And this is the brush size. You could do that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint really quick. So I've got my exposure turned up pretty high. I'm not going around my edges yet. I'm just kind of just lighting in the background. I could also do this with a marquee selection if I wanted. And that wouldn't work too badly doing that either. So all I'm doing is I'm just kind of filling that in. And of course you could also just, you know, use a white brush if you wanted as well to do this. So we're just setting that to just getting rid of that spill, just the garbage matting it basically. Okay, so what I want to do now is focus on these edges. 
So let's just change over back over to our burn tool now. So we're going to go down by the tool here, click and hold, and you're going to see the burn tool. Now the burn tool darkens it, and we're going to change this to shadows. So what I'm going to do is zoom in nice and big so we can see what's going on and watch what happens. As we go over here, and we'll do this in a couple of passes, notice what we're doing is we get this beautiful edge. Look at that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the airbrush and that way I can just kind of hold my mouse button down or if you're using a walk on pen, just hold your pen down. And notice what we're doing is we're getting this edge without having to just keep keep doing it. Let's go bigger so we can just save time. Obviously there's going to be some areas here with the white, such as the pearls there, that are not going to come in. And we can just fix those manually. Let's go down the other side there. Now there's still a little bit of gray present in there. And the reason we're doing the black first is because I want to make sure these edges get solid and we don't lose too much of our edges. In a situation like here where there's a little bit of transparency in the skirt, I'm just going to leave that. And this also works on, you know, shots where it's not maybe as in focus as it should be, which is actually this particular shot. Because I was using uh, constant lights here, and so I didn't freeze it with a strobe. Notice you're getting a little bit of graying on the edges, it doesn't matter. And by the way, this technique works really great for hair as well. Now we're doing the hair. I'm just going to go over it once. And then what you might want to do sometimes when you're doing your hair is maybe drop our exposure down a little bit. This will give us a little bit more accuracy here so we can not get so you know, crazy about it. And you can see how we can actually identify those individual hairs. All right, so now we're going to switch this out and we're going to go for the dodging. And we're going to be working on these highlights. Let's drop the exposure down pretty low just so I can get around the edges of that hair without destroying the image. There we go. And see how I just kind of picked up those loose hairs? Let me undo that. If you wanted to keep those loose hairs, just work on a smaller brush and just quickly go over them. See what we did there? And just get those edges. So it's up to you how you want to uh, do this. And I'm still fairly high with that 17%. But for the sake of a tutorial, this will be good enough. In the real world, I might go with a slightly lower and take a little more time. But in this case, we just want to get things done quickly. Great. And now we're just going to go and clean up these edges. Picking up all those grays. Now I could just apply a levels adjustment right now to clean all this out. But I don't want to choke this mask too much, so we're not going to do that right now. I want to just have that little bit of control myself. And we will do the levels in a minute. So let's just clean up these areas first. And if I want to keep the shadow, I could just go there and actually we could use that shadow and not have to create our own. You see, I want to just make sure I've got the manual control over these edges here. Okay, so here's what you could do for the areas like the hair where we don't want to crunch that. We could exclude it, so we're selecting there. Hit Command Shift I to inverse the selection. Now we could hit Control L for levels, and now we could just clean up all those gray areas. Notice at the feet there, if we don't want the shadows, just pull that all the way in. Or if we do want to keep some of the shadows, we can. Let's just keep a little bit there, click OK, and notice because we isolated the hair, it didn't um, destroy our edges on the hair. Control D to deselect, and there we go. What we've got now essentially is a mask. 
So all we need to do is load this by hitting the control key and click. And what we've done now is we've loaded our mask. So if we go back to our layer, well actually before we do, make sure we click on RGB, turn off those channels. Here we are in our layer. All I need to do now is hold down the Alt or the Option key to inverse that mask, click on the mask and boom, there we go. We've got our cutout right there. And all we'd need to do now is just grab a brush, grab a, grab a black brush here. Let's make sure it's a hard edge brush, about 95% hardness actually, and drop the size down. And then, you know, for the other areas that we need to pick up, like these pearls in here, we could just zoom in and just paint those. Notice we're painting onto that mask. So we could bring back those areas that got lost there. Just manually fix those. And if you look here, see it's a soft edge, you know, where it's out of focus, but look how clean that edge is. Yeah, sure, this might have taken a little bit longer than some of the other methods, but look at these edges. Look how good they are. And of course, you know, we go in here, we could fix this. I'll probably go over it a little bit too much. And then you could just go there and you could just use a selection tool if you wanted here. Let's just grab quick selection there. Go in and select that. Back on our mask. Grab our brush again paint with black to remove it you know so we just go in and we can fix up those areas manually but if you look at this look at the nice edges we've got on the hair there you know we've even got you know nice soft edge the hairs and everything are looking really good so that's a way we can get absolute perfect smooth edges particularly on things like limbs inside of Photoshop now you can also use your traditional selection techniques and then just use the dodging and burning on the layer mask as well that'll also get you a very similar result so anyway i hope you guys learned something new in here if you did let me know in the comments what you thought of this technique and if you're new here to photoshop cafe i've got new photoshop tutorials for you guys every single week all you need to do is hit that subscribe button right now and then you become part of the cafe crew and by the way if you're watching check to see if you have subscribed maybe you haven't subscribed and you've been watching for a long time if you haven't just hit that subscribe button right now and then you won't miss a video from me. And just ring the notification bell so you know when I upload. And by the way, if you like this, smash the like button into dust and tell all your friends about Photoshop Cafe. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.